Oh shit. What's good? What's good? We're back with another one. This one a little more serious of a topic. Um, personally, because I choose to kind of stay away from the whole vaccine, the conversation and stuff like that. And I mean, that just goes to show you how strong <laughs> um, American manipulation is because you just become uncomfortable even speaking on these topics because uh, whether you think your channel is going to get, obviously I don't have a big channel to be worried about, but whether you think your channel is going to get demonetized or uh, just banned or um, and shit, if you're just going to get attacked just in, in general for having that opinion and stuff about the unvaccinated. And a lot of people really just don't even have the time to go through that, like, gambit of <laughs> ordeals in a sense. So a lot of people just choose to stay away from it. And that was me. And me, I'm very boastful on things. But honestly, I've just been like, if they're going to like, they literally pull off videos about the vaccine, and I give a pretty good video about it, bro, I'm not about to waste my time, bro. If you take, if, if, if that's how serious y'all playing, bro, I'm, that's not the battle I'm willing to stand on. I mean, which it is a pretty good battle. Let's be real with them trying to implement, um, like everyone having to take it, especially if you get a job and stuff like that. So uh, it is about time to become a little bit more boisterous because I don't know how serious or true that is. But um, Eddie Griffin is uh, going to kind of break down a few of the uh, talking points on COVID and, and a vaccine. And um, I found it very interesting and I feel like I could shed some light on some light on it because things that he said, some people may not believe it's factual, but um, some of the things is easily just pulled up. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's get into it. Uh, oh, and one thing I just will say, I fucking love Eddie Griffin, one of my favorite comedians of all time. Um, I, I would say him and Kevin, not, not Kevin Hart, him and Cat Williams are kind of in the same lane as far as like acting the ass on stage, but also just giving you that truth, that healthy dose for the truth. So uh, that's the real reason I love him. Obviously, he's funny. Obviously, he's funny as hell. But the truth that he says on stage is just undeniable, bro. And I, the fact that he does that uh, still to this day is just... That's why I commend him. That's why I love him. So, um, he has a channel like the, uh, it's like kind of like a news segment. Oh, this says it, Eddie Griffin's funny mom, money, funny money. Huh. I don't know if this is his channel or what, but he ha he's had a page where he kind of has like a two minute news segment and stuff like that. So he's been doing this for a while. Uh, you guys want to get into it, but let's get it. <laughs> There's some brand new racism going down. It's coming to you and hear your chat. It's probably out of here. Now, uh, see, the black and white back is working no more because, you know, we finally come together to make butt cheeks knowing that we all broke and the rich and the elite, all rich and the elite. How come they ain't paying taxes? That's number one. That's a great question. That's just a great point. Just I want to. I'm curious to know if they, because we we like shit been implemented way before a lot of us have gotten here. So we hear text write offs and shit. We just trying to figure out how to do them. But whoever ever gave them the right to even have text write offs, and then if we didn't have those systems in place where they could write that shit off, if they really did have spend money on their taxes and we were able to tax their money, how much? Better would the economy be? Like I'm just curious to know that. I, I don't. I, I don't know if it'd be just like this, uh, uh, exponentially better or something like that. But there's a lot of fucking rich people that has write-offs and don't pay shit versus we all paying. So I mean, if they put in their half of the share, I don't know, man. That's I, I wonder. Um, male and female thing ain't working no more because you know we're pretty much still fucking. Um, Old against the young. <laughs> I don't know about you, but you know, uh, male with the elders that I have, my young sister's got me, so I, I don't know what that is. So now what we have? The rich police say, okay, we ran out on that. Oh, religion ain't working either because Christians and Muslims work together, at least in this country. So uh, that means it's about to permeate the rest of the world. The reason he bring up these like these polarity or these two like things that are divisive towards each other is because he's like showing the different ways that they've tried to divide and conquer us with race, with class, with religion, with um, what else did he say? Uh, it was one other thing he said in there, but all those different things kind of just help us stay divided, even though 
of course we might have these things that we believe in, um, politics and stuff like that with Democrat Republic, as many ways they divide us. Of course we have these things we may believe in, but the fact that we start to like identify as that like that thing <laughs> and um also start to demify things that don't identify with it is where it gets dangerous and stuff like that instead of respecting your space and respecting other people's spaces and stuff like that but yeah it's, it's a lot of games being played so that's why he kind of bring up this point but i let him finish hey, hey. Um, yeah so all these triggers that the uh rich and powerful man keep us separate from each other so that they can keep control over us. They all, all of them died out. They came up with a good Vaccinated against the unvaccinated. This is the new racism. Um, it's going to stand so deep to what my homeboy said on the podcast. Check it out. Absolutely unsure. It's in the playlist. Or you can go to D-I-F-R-A-N page. My boy page blowing up. Go and check him out to find the podcast and more. Um, but he just was talking about this and saying how, like, it's going to get to a point where if you have two candidates for a job, one is vaccinated, one is unvaccinated, the one that's unvaccinated, you're, you're levied against a possible fines if they get uh, COVID, if they don't report their testing and all this other different shit. It's just not a good business practice for most businesses. They're about the bottom line and keeping their money, making smart decisions and not putting themselves in a bind. <laughs> and most of the time they're going to pick the ones that's vaccinated. So it's going to start to be... Um, a class thing is going to start to be a job thing. It's going to start to really affect people personally because a lot of people truly fear it, which is going to kind of talk about it, this shit. Like people like like me, um, obviously I don't I have my own opinions about COVID and how we can protect against it. And if you have a healthy body, a healthy immune system, uh, that's what we should be trying to focus on building and not trying to d- develop vaccines. We should be trying to develop the health and immunity of Americans. But and not do fucking uh, pharmaceutical, but you know, they're about their money, so they want to do it the pharmaceutical way. Um, and besides that, people are really starting to have fear towards other people. And that fear only leads to war, in a sense of whether it's a small war with economics, or there's a small war with um, social like dynamics, but it's going to be something that outcasts the vaccinated people. They're already trying to do it, but um, honestly, it, it's... It's it's a very smart thing because you you literally you you feel like your life is on the line. Like with other wars that they made us fight, they felt like they they used the American pride or the American way of life is being threatened. And for so long that was good because so many people had American pride. But as American pride dies down, now they have to start to make the home front yourself, your body, your home, and. People won't let their own family members in into their home. People have threatened to kick out or and have kicked out people for not getting the vaccine. I've seen personally, um, me. Yeah, so it, it, it's a lot of different things that affects people. That you, it's a lot of nuanced things that affects people with this COVID stuff that we wouldn't expect, especially the people um, with elder parents or uh, older people in their family that listens to nothing but media. Like if you're a young child, you're almost like, and your family believes in the COVID, bro. You almost have to get the shot. Even if you're a teenager or in college, like they're gonna to try to force you to get the shot, whether you have your own opinions or not. And then from there, they start to outcast you. And I've seen that, so it's very dangerous, man. What we hating? Uh, if we allow them to keep pushing this shit, first of all. Vaccinated? You're unvaccinated. Uh, I don't want this unvaccinated ass against me. Unless we get this right in the United States, it can right? even get uh, if we if they really like. If we really let them push this shit, it can get to a point where you can't even go into restaurants if you're unvaccinated. Like, you can't even go into stores if you're unvaccinated. And that sounds just like when black people couldn't do it. And you gotta think about it. Who are the people that most likely not gonna get the vaccine? Minorities. I know a bunch of, every time I speak to a Hispanic, they laugh about the vaccine. They like, you got it? You getting it? And they live like me? No, mm-mm, no. Like, might not even speak Spanish. I mean, might not barely speak English, but they know they're not getting that fucking vaccine. Like. And same with black people. Obviously, it's a lot. It, it's way more black people, honestly, that I, that's gotten the vaccine than I ever imagined when they came out with this shit. I really did not think that you was going to be able to get a lot of black people to do it. Obviously, there's a, a big portion of our people that haven't, but I was still surprised at the portion that did, especially that was just jumping and like, oh, I, like standing in line for the shit. Like when it first came out, like I was I was I was a little befuddled, but it just showed me the way of the world a little bit more. And I was like, all right, I'm understanding. I'm understanding that people are very gullible and will follow the masses 
and that a lot of people are stuck in that, but they don't have a, a thoughts or, or decide to do research for themselves. But let's keep it going. Man. Where else, man? is already some bullshit. America's the last place on earth where you have a freedom of choice. You have a right to bear arms or not to bear arms. You have a right to uh, take your cancer treatment or tell your doctor, fuck it, I'm tired of that chemo shit. You have the right to get an abortion and not get an abortion until Texas decide to change up what's been going on for so many years. I, it's still weird to me that they decide to do that. Like I don't get what that benefits, but yeah, for the most part, America has more choices than others. But my thing with America is, it is very good at manipulating you into choices. So they'll put both choices out there, but this is the more popular choice, whether it's economically popular or uh, just the masses accept it or whatever. So it, most people are gonna tend to buy the most, like the, the thing that's widely accepted, even though it may be the fucking devil or something that is counterproductive to your life. So that's why, yeah, America has a choice. And if you're a free thinker, America's for you. Now, if you were to get guided by the masses or you need leadership, you're in fucking trouble in America because there's a lot of fucking leaders looking to make you just a good old worker. It's a lot of fucking corporations, a lot of fucking businesses, a lot of fucking people that have their own fucking ways of going about life and they don't align to yours. So you're going to be working trying to get that shit while they don't give a fuck about you. Work for Amazon, work for Walmart, work for many corporations that you can see, like, well, you fucking getting billions off of my work and my production, but I, I barely can even pay my fucking rent. So... If you need guidance, if you need help trying to make it through this world, it's going to be tough on you in America because America values and standards that's been around, is, is they don't care about the average person. They don't care about middle class. They don't care about the working class. So you're in trouble. But if you think of for your, if you can think for yourself, whether it's inside of a business and creating for yourself as you grow inside of a business or as you work for a business, you're still thinking about building yourself up, like saving and, and working on yourself outside of that job, then you'll be okay. If you're thinking about creating your own different businesses, you you most likely will be okay. It's still gonna be, it won't be easy, but it, you're better off than those people. So, yeah, uh, America can be the home of the free, but I would put a caveat or or uh, asterisk and say for people that think for themselves. Yeah, I believe cancer is way more deadly than COVID, but ain't nobody forcing motherfuckers to go take chemo therapy. But they are driving the plane home. You can't go to work unless you had a coach. Who, who does this? That's some de devil ass, evil ass shit from the city you just said. We've always had the choice, in a sense, of if we want to take some shit from the flu shot to cancer to. Whatever. I always say the uh, American government never cared so much about the American people until COVID came. I never cared about our health. I never cared about our safety until American people, I mean, until uh, COVID came. So now that you like giving us like literally threatening the way that people have been surviving, because you got to think about so many people, like uh, some of these people that I speak about that don't want to take the vaccine have been at these jobs for 15, 20 years. You threatening their way of life of how they've been living for years. And you're, you're literally like pressing against the fabric of their morals or the fabric of the things that they believe in to either you say either like it's two like it, it, like for me it's like two different things like you have survival on here that you have to think about and then i think everybody also thinks about their morals and things like that and you try to keep those things aligned as you try to survive and walk this way of life you know but now they're like we're going to harp in the survival part in order to like shift your morals the way we need them to be. And I just think that's so unfair because like so many people are in a bind. So many people have big families that they're taking care of. Or, like so many, so many things that's tied to them and them maintaining the, the stability that they have. And now you just wanna threaten that. And these people have like, See, it won't be easy to find another job if you make it like that. Even if they, even if they got all that tenure and that 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 consistency, where another job will see that as an attractive candidate, because that they, they know they're not gonna just walk out. Once you, if you can make them happy, you can make them a, a solid worker for years. They can't even do that at another job because they're not vaccinated. They're not willing to be vaccinated unless they go against their morals. And sometimes it, it, I wouldn't even say it's morals. It's literally your survival as well. Because in my eyes. 
nigga taking a vaccine can possibly kill me. So it's a little bit past the morals. It even taps into my survival shit too. But I feel like they, you know, they they manipulate you to think, oh no, this is going to help your survival. And I'm I'm not sold on that. I'm not sold on that. So I, I just feel like it's real, just evil. It's an evil idea to implant in people's head, even if it's a fear tactic to make people do it. Like, cause they could be bluffing in a sense, and, and they're saying they're gonna do it, so people start doing it uh, ahead of time. So when it does come, they don't have to worry about being in like you know that type of that, that type of uh, the conversation with their job. So some people may start taking it just because of that. But regardless, man, I just think it's so evil, and I'm gonna kind of touch on that a little bit more later on. I can go buy it with that bullshit. What the fuck you up to, man? And then you gonna exempt Congress? They staff and they family from the mandate to force that everybody else had? Fuck you, Congress, and the rest of the pop up. Evil ass shit. What makes you niggas different? Fuck us. Man, how about that? Like, a lot of the shit with COVID be so political, it has nothing to do with fucking science. And he gonna get into it, so I won't even touch on it. Like, I ain't taking a shot unless all the rest of you motherfuckers take a shot. Congress. I'm gonna let motherfuckers take a shot, goddamn. Everybody gonna take a motherfucker before me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Everybody gonna take it for me. Since it's so safe. And I'm still gonna wait another 20 years. So what the fuck y'all know that we don't know? Huh? Oh, man, it's crash test down the season? Hmm? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, do you vaccinate? I ain't got nothing against you motherfuckers. Go ahead and all. take the vaccine. But I'm not going to be ostracized because I don't want to. How about that? Oh, I'm still gonna be out in public because I ain't got shit. I take tests every day, come back negative. So if I ain't got shit, I'm worried about you motherfuckers. Because you have the vaccine flowing through your veins, so that means you have it. Until the numbers come out and prove to me that the vaccine is working. Good. I did believe that uh, in order to get the vaccine, you'll have to have strains of the vaccine, uh, strains of COVID in the vaccine, but I don't believe it's one of those type of vaccines um, or, or um, anti-venoms in a sense, because usually with anti-venom, you have to have a strain of the venom. Uh, I don't think they, I don't think that's what they did with the COVID vaccine. So I think he may have been wrong with that, but let's move on. Because ain't no numbers proving that shit. It's all lies. Hospitals filled with the unvaccinated. It's filled with the vaccinated. How about that one? Do some research. I did want to look that up. I forgot that he said that. I was like, that's interesting. I can't spell y'all, so bear with me. Unvaccinated fills up hospital beds. Mostly unvaccinated. Mostly unvaccinated. I ain't even got to read it because some of these things. Mostly vaccinated patients who are hospitalized. Who is this? Brinkers Hospital View. A uh, Becker's, I'm sorry. That's one. <clears throat> So um, I'll probably have to look into it more, but um, that's that's a that's a curious statement. That one got me thinking. Like, is that true? Because they're not they're never going to tell you exactly. I mean, obviously in these like they they're saying unvaccinated, but I I, I don't trust mainstream media, so they're not going to ever come out and say that who's really in there. So that's that's an interesting statement. I wonder what he found to make him say that. <clears throat> But I'm not here to uh, perpetuate the 
war between vaccinated and unvaccinated because you know, the news is doing that daily. Every day, unvaccinated is wars against the unvaccinated. And now they call it a war against the unvaccinated. Now, how about your grandmama's unvaccinated? Get war with you. Biofascist war against the uh, uh, vaccinated. So this is probably a like kind of like a woke column that's paying attention to the thing that's going on right now. Biden's war on um, virus becomes war on vaccinated. So that's not it's not an unpopular rhetoric or, or rhetoric is from what I'm seeing. Takes fight just that that it doesn't say war, but that alone shows a certain type of uh, opposition when you say fight. Yeah, this says children health defense. So I'm pretty sure they're not gonna misquote, mis misquote Biden. But yeah, they, they put it in the quotes, response to Biden's declaration of war against unvaccinated. So there you have it, Biden did say it, but um, I mean, obviously that's not the, um, that's not the uh, a great source, but uh, I should I could do more to make that a factual source. But I'm not about to do all that. We 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 know the I the, we can see even if he didn't say that we could see um, that approach being taken on the unvaccinated people. So it's not crazy. I just wanted to look it up. Your grandma she refused to take the vaccine. They done drew a nail between families. You can't go see your family. Because, because, vaccine. This is all been triggered by the rich nigga. They, they knew they had us when they had us all wearing masks. They knew right then and there we got the TV is working. They had us so afraid. We stayed in the house for a year. Some of you motherfuckers did. I was out for anything. They, they, they kept us in the house. Well, you yeah, don't go visit your parents on Christmas. T uh, Don't go visit your mom. None of that shit. Uh, she might have. Your wife might have. Your kids might have. You might give it to them. I mean, that's, that's bullshit. How the fuck they got us here of the people in our house? I remember uh And most likely the people in your house have the same type of immunity, so um like in a sense of like unless they're super old, like y'all all have like the same microbials and shit because y'all sleep and uh eat the same similar food. So most likely y'all gonna if you're healthy or uh, if you have a high, you don't have to be the most healthiest person, but if you have a high immune system, most likely people in your household gonna have that as well. Um, obviously there's uh, circumstances where it wouldn't be like that. Uh, Cuomo called him, and he had to quarantine himself in his basement, in his house. He couldn't go hug his wife and kids in his house and he televised that shit. That's the tele, they televised on purpose to, Promote, divide, and conquer within your family. The only other thing that got closest to dividing people with inside their family is politics with Biden and Trump or with Trump and uh Trump didn't run against Obama, but whoever ran against Obama, like if they voted for Obama, a lot of times the the uh, conservative side would be mad at the the liberal side, and there'll be a lot of different bickering within between families. So America has done a good way of dividing households for sure, for sure. I want somebody to check this and, and ask me if this is true. There has not been a flu case since COVID has arrived, has it? What happened to flu season? And this will be our second flu season because 
when we were locked down for a year, we went through flu season not a peep. So we got two different flu seasons to kind of reference off of and nothing. Oh, yeah. Because it is cold. See, the thing is, everything's about capitalism. And they don't advertise the flu shot anymore because it's, it's not as lucrative and it's not the market anymore. Like, for years, the flu has been the market. Every every year, we know we can roll out this product and get sales on it, essentially. Now, when we start talking about this being an actual a, a, a vaccine and stuff like that, that's where it gets scary. But I've never, I've probably taken the flu shot once in my life out of all the flu seasons. But, yeah, I'm, I, I've... Haven't been the one to take it. And even back then, when they took flu shots and stuff, they'd be like, "Man, those people end up still getting it." So it, it wasn't nothing. It, it's the same old thing, but it now it's a new, new, more trendy um, thing that people are scared of. So we can roll this shit out for however long we can and make buku sales off of it. There's literally COVID like there's lines for to people to take the COVID shot. I don't think the flu shot was ever there. Uh, at least the last five, six years, I don't think the flu shot was ever that productive as far as getting people to make a line to take this shit. Usually during flu season. Bro, and the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical is eating this shit up. In about 405,000 people die every flu season. That's pretty much the numbers on COVID. That's all I Take all the freedoms at once. They take it little by little. When they see they got fear, it's a powerful thing. They're so afraid that we wore masks, and some of them are books still wear. Now, they even got the airlines in on it and big business in on it. Fear mongers, because once America loses our last little freedom, it is slavery. Dictate when to go to work, how long you must be there, then to come outside when you stay in the house. They're already doing it. You mask, get on the plane, get the car, get out the car, get the restaurant, put the mask on, sit down, you can take it off while you're eating, put it on, go to the bathroom, take it off once you get back to the table. So I can just suck up all the coronavirus while I'm sitting down eating, but I can't while I walk to the bathroom. What kind of bullshit is this, y'all? And that's when I was talking about, like, the science behind this shit don't make sense. Because even with the masks, like, bro, the, these masks that's getting produced, bro, these people ain't put no science into it. It's, it's, it's decorative, they're cheap, and mass-produced. These things are not preventing COVID. Do you touch your mask, you touch your face way more than you'll ever touch your face before having a mask on. Some people wear the mask without washing it three, four times. Bro, <laughs> these things will all lead to COVID being more ramped up and, and passed on more than not. Come on, man. Come on, man. So uh, even to the restaurant, like, what makes you think walking to the door and all these different things, like you wouldn't contact it through there like, like even with the mask, like I said, even with the mask on, it's not gonna stop nothing. And it, it, it lasts on plastic, it lasts on things that other people touch, and everything that you basically go to with a restaurant is being touched. Like, yes, it get washed and everything, but at some point, someone has to touch it or contact it. So, like, bro, it, the science behind this shit, the fact they even let people go to restaurants or let people go to games and stuff like this, like, if it was really something that was that crazy, none of this shit would be going on. Like, come on, bro. Like, the science behind it is crazy. Well, it ain't no science behind it. It's all politics and, and capitalism. You got all these celebrities. I took the shot. I took the shot. I ain't take shit. How about that, bro? I don't even think they took it. I think they get saline shots in the arm, for real. And I've seen videos throughout 
where you could tell. I didn't see that one, but you could tell that people weren't getting a shot. Like it wasn't nothing either in the shot or um, they didn't push down on the shot and, and, and stuff like that. So for me, obviously I also have believed that people have been taking different types of shots like saline and, uh, and stuff like that. So it's not crazy what he's saying. And then when you already see videos enough. like this, like, It makes me uh, question the shit even more. Three second video also shows a nurse posing as if she's administering injection to the duo. The nationwide COVID-19 vaccination yes. of priority groups began in India on January 16. According to the Union Health Ministry, close to 1 million health workers have already received the shots. In Tumkur district officials speak it before see. camera. Pretending to take COVID vaccine. To take it off. Promotion. Where there is BJP, there is fraud. Never even pokes it in. Such caption along with Never the even touches the thing to India push it down. The anti fake news war room has found. Like, stuff like that is like, it's not crazy to me. But what's sick to me as well is like, they, they do these endorsement shifts from the, the politicians and government and different black leader or black people that you will see in a good role in America taking it and then other people taking it. And this is all just advertisement and also manipulation to sway people into doing it. And the fact that you have to do this on like, like this is like blatant propaganda right here. This looks like, oh look, they're just, they're just showing, they're just showing this, but why? Why do you have to show this? I can't, they, they clearly injected him with something, but I'm just going off the marketing and advertisement and shit for this shit, bro. It, it, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. The fact that you have people have to video it to try to persuade people to take it is disgusting to me. Let people think for themselves, put out the facts, put out the information, which I have been doing nonstop for almost two years now. People understand what the fuck it is. Stop trying to manipulate and fear tactic people or put fear into people. And this shit like this, this inspires the the, the older men, the 50 year old white men to do it. And I feel like that's kind of sick, man, honestly. Not that I mean, I I have the much, like I'm speaking up for that, uh, that, that class or that genre, or what do you call it, demographic? But it's like, think about it, bro. These people are old. And, and you you persuading people that believes in people like Pence and stuff like that to get this. And those people are old. So it's like, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what's America agenda with this shit. I really don't. I don't know if it's just a money thing or like he said, uh, they slowly taking away our rights and trying to just ease us into just being used to our rights being in, in approached. Uh, um, just our rights being... Um, taken away from us in a sense so yeah I, I maybe that's just what it is but i don't know man it it, may, it leaves me curious to try to figure out the long term uh play of what they're really trying to do and i think it's closer to what he said um it's them just them getting you used to it you giving away your rights but uh besides that uh when him saying the saline shots and stuff like that that's been a conspiracy going around but I've seen, this is not, these are the ones I can find on YouTube, but I've seen many different videos on Twitter and stuff like that, where you could clearly see that there wasn't a shot given. And, um, like there wasn't no liquid in it and stuff like that. So, yeah, I, and they'll be doing that on TV. So, and then you add on to why the, they, they say the Congress don't have to take it and stuff like that, and government officials don't have to take it. Like, why? Why? So, it's weird to me, but I thought it was an interesting video. He said a lot of things that made me think. Uh, so I was like, let's, let's go ahead and react to it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Y'all like, subscribe. I'm coming back with some more heat, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Peace.